Hi, this is Mark Gordon. I wanted to give you a brief introduction to iridology. And basically, iridology is studying the uh, iris of the eyes. And, um, you know, the irises reflect things uh, in the body. Pretty much every uh, cell in the body is reflected in the iris. Now, it was discovered by a young uh, Hungarian guy who uh, caught an owl in his backyard. He was only 11 years old at the time. And during the struggle uh, with the owl, the owl's leg broke and he noticed immediately a dark spot rising up in the iris of the owl's eye. You know, I, uh, the owls have very large irises, so he, he noticed that. And that began his uh, sort of investigation into uh, iridology. Now this young man went on to become a doctor and uh, gave him the opportunity to see a, a lot of uh, uh, people uh, working in the surgical ward of a college hospital. And he noticed that after accidents and uh, proceeding and following surgeries, uh, he noticed changes in the irises of eyes, you know, during uh, surgery or illnesses. And this convinced him that there was a relationship directly with the irises. So this started his uh, long journey into uh, iridology. Now, at the same time um, that this man was doing research, another guy in Sweden was doing research, too, and found that uh, various drug uh, settlements um, distorted the iris of the eyes as well. And uh, as a young man, this guy was giving uh, mass quantities of quinine, which led to uh, yellow-green discolorations in his eyes from the use of the quinine. Anyways, during the 1800s, a lot of scientists and doctors uh, started researching iridology and improving things and uh, came up with an iris chart and b basically mapped out the eye. And then in the 1900s, Dr. Bernard Jensen here in the United States really, really um, uh, studied it and pioneered a lot of things in iridology and came up with uh, the most comprehensive eye chart uh, uh, that are still used today. Uh, and uh, his uh, uh, are very accurate in, uh, in showing the regions of the eye as reflected in the iris. As a detoxification specialist, I'm interested in inflammation in the body, especially the lymphatic system and how that is showing up in the iris because when the lymph system is clogged, it starts doing damage to cells and I believe it's the cause of most of our chronic uh, uh, illnesses. And so I'm interested in how the eye is reflecting this and at what level the uh, degeneration of cells is, uh, is taking place. And iridology really helps me map this out. So looking at the eye, you know, the white part of the eye is called the sclera. And if that has a lot of redness in it, that shows uh, uh, me that the body is uh, acidic. Now, you could uh, have had a night uh, out drinking, uh, which is an acidic activity. But um, uh, that shows me the overall level of acidity in the body. Uh, then, of course, we come into the iris, which is the colored part of the eye, and then the pupil, uh, which is the dark part of the eye. And um, right around the pupil is where the stomach is located in iridology. So I look at the health of the stomach and then just outside of that you see this sort of discolored area here, this grayish area. These are the intestines, okay, the small and large uh, bowel. And uh, I look uh, at this, the condition of that. And um, you'll see this sort of white line that kind of comes around. Uh, this is called the uh, um, collarette, and this is the uh, delineation between um, the intestines and the rest of the body, the organs of the body and glands. So now what I do is I take a map of the uh, iris and uh, I overlay that over the eye. Uh, this is something that I've developed here that helps me map out the different regions of the eye. So we start up here, um, at, up top here in the brain area here, and then the sinuses below that. And now we move over to the uh, neck area with the, uh, the ear, uh, the neck and the shoulder here, and then come into the lungs and the bronchioles and the heart here, and then down into the uh, uh, chest cavity here uh, and the breast and the ribs. And then uh, coming down here into the upper abdomen, your spleen, um, instantly this is the left eye, uh, your diaphragm, and then down here to the uh, ovaries or testes here, and then down here in the lower abdomen, which is your pelvis and your uh, abdominal wall and your groin, and down here at the very bottom to your uh, uh, foot, a knee, and thigh and hip. Okay, now we move into the, uh, the kidney area, and uh, the adrenals uh, sit right on top of that. This is your left kidney, left adrenal. And then we move over here into the uh, sex organs here, the, um, uh, the prostate and the uterus. Uh, and this is the, uh, uh, the anus and the rectum here. Uh, then into the bladder area, then to the lower spine. And now we have the uh, liver. 
uh, and you'll see the spine coming up uh, here on this side here, uh, the upper spine up in here. Uh, here's uh, your pancreas body here, um, <coughs> lower back, and now upper back here. Now we move into the thyroid and the parathyroid gland, uh, the uh, bronchus, a uh, little bit of heart here, uh, vocal cords and throat. Um, and now up into the uh, face region here where you have your tonsils, your, uh, your mouth, uh, nose, uh, upper jaw, eye, um, and then the frontal sinus up here, and then of course back up into the brain here. And around the stomach area here is the intestines here, and to the outside of that uh, is um, your um, uh, endocrine glands. The glandular region here, very important. You've got your uh, pineal gland, which uh, releases the melatonin to help you sleep, the pituitary, the master gland that controls all the others, um, your pancreas here, your heart here, your thymus here, uh, very important in your immune system, solar plexus, a lot of nerves is, uh, go into there, a little bit of pancreas over here. So that's pretty much it. Oh, along the outside of the eye, this is your skin ring. Okay, uh, uh, and then on the inside here, this is your mucous membrane. So the eye pretty much maps out the entire body. So when I'm looking at an eye, um, the first thing I do is, is just get an overall look at the eye and then look for the weak spots. So um, we see <coughs> a lot of uh, congestion down here. See all this white matter here. This is all lymph. Okay, so then I want to know where that is. So what I'll do is I'll just call up my chart and know that that left kidney has got a lot of mucus in it and that left adrenal. Okay, a lot of lymph. So that, that left kidney needs to be cleaned out um, <coughs> and, and made strong. So by removing obstructions out of that kidney, that kidney is going to perform uh, a lot better and filter out things a lot better. And then the adrenal gland is going to also uh, come online more too. Which very important gland. Okay, so now I see another dark spot over here and some thick uh, uh, lymph uh, right in this area here. So let's see what that is. That is part of our thyroid and maybe a little bit of trachea there. Um, and uh, thyroid, a very important gland as well, uh, controls a lot of functions of the body. Uh, so uh, we're going to look at that. Now we also see this dark spot down here in the esophagus. Okay, so and a lot of lymph down in here. So we know that this uh, uh, client here uh, needs to detox uh, these areas here and strengthen them. And then we have a, a, a dark spot right in here. Let's see what that is. That is going to be a breast area. So that has caused a little bit of det deterioration in there. Um, some holes developing in here. Now, another thing I'm noticing here are these white spots here, okay? This is called a lymphatic rosary. These are the client's lymph nodes. So uh, the lymph nodes are, are, are the um, sort of a septic tank uh, for, uh, for the body. You know, the lymph system is your sewer system. And then um, a lot of stuff gets dumped into the lymph nodes where uh, pathogens and toxins are removed from the body. There's a lot of what they call natural killer cells in there and, uh, and uh, T cells and lymphocytes that actually gobble up all the bad stuff, all the things we don't want, uh, viruses and bacteria and things. So this client uh, needs to clean these out. So uh, I would put this client on some uh, lymph node uh, and lymph um, uh, formulas. So I could go on and on with this eye, uh, but, but the purpose is just give you an overall uh, overview of, of uh, iridology and how it is used uh, by a detoxification specialist. Um, you know, uh, certainly all this white stuff is lymph uh, uh, in the system. Uh, this thick white line around um, the bowels is the bowel wall here. Uh, it has a lot of lymph in it, and that needs to be cleaned out. So uh, anyways, I'll go uh, uh, and do a full eye review uh, in an upcoming video. But this is just your brief introduction, and thanks for listening.